In this video, we are going to look at basic physics vehicles capability in Optimus Create. So there is a number of uh, vehicles demos here in the vehicle group, but they're all relatively advanced and involve quite a bit of Python coding. So we're just going to make a vehicle from scratch. So the easiest thing to do is to use the vehicle wizard, but before you use the wizard, you want to have a vehicle chassis. And uh, I'm just going to make a quick vehicle chassis out of a torus right here. I'm going to um, create this torus. I'm going to squish it a bit uh, to make it more aerodynamic. And then um, I'm also going to create a sphere here. Also squish the sphere a bit. Um, the front here. Um, we should also parent both of these under an, uh, an X form here. We're going to call it uh, and uh, put the torus and the sphere under it like this. And we're going to move the whole thing up here. Um, And I'm also going to scale the sphere down a little bit here. To, yeah, like that. And then make it. How is that for? Cool. I think that looks amazing directly from the Jetsons. So you want to basically select the chassis of your vehicle and then you can go to create physics and then vehicle. That will get you this vehicle wizard. And um, this scan button right here is important because it will set all of these fields from the object that we just created. And it's important to set the longitudinal axis. That's the Z axis, the blue one right here. So that's correct. And I just say scan. Here you can then uh, go to subsequent pages to set up uh, specific wheel parameters and so much. And then here you have additional instructions that are quite helpful that you should probably read. But uh, when you have set everything up and we're just going to go with defaults here, you can press create. And that's going to create a vehicle that roughly matches the size and shape of your input object. And uh, if you open this, you're going to see that it has a, it created this ugly boxy chassis render mesh. We don't want that. What we want is instead to reuse this um, render geometry we already created. So we're going to parent it under the vehicle, which messes up the transform, but we're going to now move that down here to render at the right location. And that's also still going to leave us with this boxy collision uh, geometry, but uh, we are actually fine with that right now. When you press play now, the vehicle is going to drop down onto the ground and you can now use the arrow keys to steer. This is left arrow, right arrow, and then press the forward arrow, the up arrow to drive forward. So now we can drive around our vehicle. This is going backwards and uh, eventually we can drive off of our ground plane. 